In this video, we are going to see how to use a thousand VW data recorder manufactured by AC Instruments. The model A thousand VW data recorder is designed as 4.8 VDC low current charging circuit and can measure and store vibration sensor output frequency. A thousand data recorder consists of unibody jumper cable to connect to sensors, RS cable for PC connecting, and adapter for charging. The data recorder is classified connect jumper cable, the connect RS cable, the LCD display, the function button, and charge connector. The function button for on and off turning the power, the menu button for setting the measurement mode and data recorder, the enter button for selecting the measurement mode, the light button turn the backlight on and off and change options in setting, the save button to save data or change options. The data recorder of menu button, the first setting is the sweep mode, which set the frequency range of vibrating wire sensor to be measured. A 452,200 Hz, 800 to 2000 Hz, 1400 to 3500 Hz, 2400 to 6000 Hz. The output frequency of the vibrating wire sensor to be measured must be within the setting range. The second setting is for specifying the types of temperature sensor. There are two settings, NTC for 3 kilo ohm of thermistor and RTD for 2 kilo ohm RTD. The third setting is display setting for measurement as subscribe. The period of heritage as period. Amplification value of frequency as linear frequency of 10 cube hertz squared. The unit of vibrating wires per weld over string gauge type as micro strain 0.391. The unit of vibrating wire shockrate ambient strain gauge type as micro strain 0.7756. The unit for vibrating wire embedment strain gauge type as micro strain 3.304. The unit for vibrating wire weldable strain gauge type as micro strain 4.062. The A1000VW data recorder always outputs the frequency by default on the main screen and display the selected display unit at the same time. The fourth setting is regulate the brightness of the LCD display. It is adjustable from 1 to 20 and it is set to 10 as standard. The fifth setting is to setting the auto power off timer. It can be set from 10 minutes to 60 minutes with every 10 minute setting. It is set to 10 minutes as standard and it can be set with user's choice. Clicking the enter button again to display the data recorder's information when the press again to return to the measurement screen. Now we are going to measure and save the preparation vibrating wire pigeometer. The red and black wire of jumper cable are for frequency and the green and white wires are for temperature. The yellow wire is connected to shield wire, connect the sensor cable to the clip according to color of wire.
Currently, the frequency range setting is not correct and is displayed as XX. Since the initial frequency range of the vibrating wire piezometer is 2900 Hz, the sweep mode should be set as C1400 to 3500 Hz. The last set option remains on even when the power is turned off and on. So users do not need to change the setting if the user wanted to measure the same sensors again. Clicking the save button on the measurement screen to switch the measurement value saving screen. Use the up and down button to specify the sensor ID to be saved and then press the enter button to save. Up to 64 IDs can be selected and 4000 data points can be saved. Since the only frequency value is stored in the storage, it is necessary to convert the stored data when using the other units. The stored data can be checked by connecting the cable to the computer. Now look how to connect the data recorder to computer. Using the 10-pin MX connector of the RS cable packed with data recorder, connect the other 9-pin serial connector to serial port of computer with the program. The dedicated program for data recorder can be downloaded from ACE Instruments website as free of charge. Run the 8000 Pro program. The edit and down icons are disabled due to disconnected at this time. Click the connect button while the RS cable is connected to data recorder. Specify the communication port to connect. Click the auto to automatically find and connect the communication port. When the programs and the data recorder are connected, the entire button on the main screen is activated. On the connected screen, we will click the edit button to set the data recorder's options. This screen users can set the battery level, clock setup, reading setup, and auto power break options of the currently connected data recorder. Clock setup is function to set the time of connected data recorder. After specifying the date and time, user can set it manually by clicking the set button. User can set it at same time as computer clicking the match computer button. Reading setup is the function to set the sweep mode and temperature sensor type. Four sweep modes and two temperature sensors type can be set. Safe option is setting for the storage mode when the memory of the model is full. There are two ways. First, continue reading, which is the most recent data save, erasing the old data, and store save new data. The second mode is stop recording when the saving the new data, which data is not going to be stored when the memory is full. Auto power break is setting for auto power off timer. The option can be set from 10 minute to 60 minute with every 10 minute setting. Next, we will click the down button to download save data from the computer. When clicking the down button, a list of data stored in the current data appears. Users can sort by data value or ID orders using the upper left ID option. 
When clicking the save icon, the save data option dialog box appears. The file type option is to allow the select the details of stored data. You can choose CSV file that can be used in the operation program with Excel and DAT and text file can be used in the text file program such as Memo. The save folder option is to specify where to save the data. The option at the bottom is to specify the range of measurement period of the data to be saved. When user finishes clicking the options, click the Save button to save the data and click OK when the save is completed. Next, we will check out how to delete the data. Click the Down button on the program main screen. When the data list showed up, click the Erase button at the bottom to erase the data. Click the Exit button on the main screen to end the program and disconnect with the data recorder.